Well, I and hundreds of volunteers are mostly on the phones at this point. This year, because of COVID, of course, we weren't canvassing neighborhoods. There's a little bit of literature drop being done by some of the campaigns, but our neighborhood leader program that reaches out to about 500 neighborhoods throughout Marion County uh, with hundreds of volunteers uh, mailed postcards this year, but in the, in the last two days and in the last two weeks, we've been on the phones every day, uh, as well as working in campaigns on texting campaigns. I've done thousands of texts personally for some of the campaigns, but basically calling voters that haven't voted yet. But what's unbelievable is how many people have voted. Our team has been working nonstop um, since now you asked, it's funny, you asked, what are you doing in the last day? And my answer is the same thing we've been doing for the last 30 <laughs> or more. <laughs> you know, you're chasing ballots and you're, you're lots of people are, are doing what they can do to, to get out the vote. That's, that's the game right now is get out the vote and make our candidates known, you know, to anyone and everyone. I think people in Oregon want to see a change, especially here in Marion County, and we want to give them that opportunity. So not much has changed in the last 30 days, except it's ramped up. Basically, we, we literally uh, divided up uh, tens of thousands of postcards, delivered them to individual neighborhood leaders' front porch. They put them together and mailed them individually to tens of thousands of people. And we got that out. We timed it so that the day they got their ballot, either the day before or the day of, they got a postcard with a list of their candidates in their area, and uh, they knew who to vote for, and it was time to vote. Oh, we have to be flexible and work with the times. And so, you know, we're doing Zoom meetings like we are here. We are uh, doing, there's people writing postcards and sending them in the mail for campaigns. There are people that are making phone calls. There are people that are doing social feeds. Literature drops in some cases are happening, uh, different campaigns uh, where they'll drop literature at the door and run, you know, they don't want to get in touch and, you know, get too close to people. We want to, you know, respect social distancing or whatever. Uh, we want to res respect people, I guess. Uh, we're not so keen on all the governor's orders, of course, but uh, we're certainly not wanting to bring any ill will to anybody. So there's a varied number of ways that the campaigns are reaching out. Uh, it's definitely different this year, though. Absolutely, and, and, and sometimes they have and sometimes they haven't. We see if they've voted in the last few days, at a certain point it shows up on our screen that they voted. And so at, as of Saturday, three quarters of our people had literally voted, but others will say, yeah, I just stuck it in the box today. So we won't see that for three or four days. Absolutely, um, but those early voters are not necessarily, you know, the, the numbers of whether they're Republicans or Democrats or whatever. Yeah, I, I uh, am encouraged. I know a lot of people are really paying attention to this election. There's a lot of unhappy folks in Oregon, which, you know, and I'm very confident of that. Um, with everything that's been going on uh, with COVID, with all, you know, with the fires and all of the things that surround that, a lot of very dissatisfied, disgruntled, displaced voters. And uh, well, I, I think you might see an interesting result here. Maybe not what you're expecting.